please welcome Gunner and Danielle to the show. Hello, newlyweds. <laughs> Danielle, I heard you say that this is a little out of the ordinary. I would say you're putting it mildly. It's a lot of, but your story is so adorable. I'm, I'm in on this. Is this real? Are you pulling a prank on us? Because I'm in on this. No, this is real. Yeah, we, have the, we have the legal documents and everything. <laughs> so you're legally married, and this is right now, what are you, how many, how many days, weeks, months into this? I think we just calculated it the other day. It's been like nine months. Yeah, nine months we've been married. Wow. I know. <laughs> so one week after you saw Gunner's video, uh, this man surprised you by showing up at your parents' home where you were living, um, and he proposed to you, right? Is that how it played out? So I was actually in the city of Pittsburgh. I live a little bit north of the city. And he called me. Luckily, I was already in the city. He said, hey, I'm like 30 minutes away. I'm coming to propose to you. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so I had to hurry up and get mentally ready for that. And uh, yeah, we met in the city of Pittsburgh. Well, okay, well, let's, okay, I need some time. Um, uh, how do you get mentally ready for a man who's found you and is on his way to propose? That's honestly a really good question. <laughs> I think I was just super nervous. Gunner, how did you know where she was? Um, well, we had, I had FaceTimed people leading up to it, so I kind of had an idea where everyone was. That was like one of the first questions I asked people. I'm like, where are you located? And um, it was a big plus that Danielle was um, in a drivable distance from me, so. So was that one of the her. rules? The person you picked had to be drivable distance? <laughs> No, most, okay. most definitely not. Um, the, the whole experience was I wanted to just meet someone in Vegas and get married there. Okay. But it was a plus that I could propose to Danielle in Pittsburgh. You had thousands of women respond to you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did you ever imagine that that many women clearly are spontaneous far more than I've ever been in my life? <laughs> <laughs> I, knew, I knew they were out there, but... Um, Thank gosh for TikTok about bringing them, bringing them into the light for me. How did you know she was what you were looking for when you never met her? I mean, I sit down with people and I get a, I get a vibe for them. Now, I can do it now with Zoom. I couldn't do it when we first kind of transitioned to in, but now I, I feel like, for example, that you're sitting right here with me, but I'm actually tricking myself. You're <laughs> gonna get married to someone you haven't formally really vibed with, shared yeah. meals with, met. I knew there was a massive risk involved, and I was very ready for whatever adventure um, the partner I picked would bring to me. Um, obviously, I'm very happy that we're still experiencing that adventure together. So, Danielle, <laughs> you, I first heard, so you originally, were, before you met Gunnar, living in an ambulance. Is it a van or an ambulance? What is it? It's an ambulance. Why were you living in an ambulance? I mean, it's cute, but what made you make that transition in life? <laughs> So my brother actually lives in a school bus and I always wanted to do van life, wow. but I knew that I had to one up him. So how can you one up a school bus? You get an ambulance. Well, there you go. <laughs> and so that was a part of what drew you into her that made her so interesting, Gunner, that she was, you know, living in this van. So now together you um, have transformed it into your living space. That's a lot for a new couple because that bed is small. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, you're in love, so you're still at that cuddle stage. But in about two years, you're gonna be like, can you get over? Can you get over? So you're still at the cutter. What's been the most difficult thing about being newly married and living in a, a van? Um, I think, honestly, it is like a very small space. It's like a, you know, four by 10 box that we live in together. Yeah, I would say just learning to respect each other's boundaries and finding out what they are is, yeah. <laughs> There's no bathroom, right? No. No. What do you do? <laughs> Normally, we just pee in bottles or you pee outside or go to Starbucks. <laughs> Okay, I, I, I love this because, you know what, listen, I make my husband leave to somewhere else if I have to go to the bathroom. I'm like, get out of here, I need my space. You're peeing in bottles together. You're going to stay married forever. Um, <laughs> if this is going to be, you're going to be, aren't they? You can, if you can do that. I know you guys have goals. You want to get property. There's a lot on your list, and, and you are officially TikTok creators, and people follow you 
Um, and, and that's how, I guess, you make kind of a living after the, the interest of the story. Do you feel pressure to stay together? Because if you're marketing this and it's on TikTok and it's all about social media and people falling in love with you on social media, if you fall out of love, will you lose money? <laughs> um, there probably would be like a little bit of a monetary loss, but we're pretty scrappy and uh, we definitely find a way to, to get by in whatever means that may be. Are you, so you're legally married, are you in love yet? <laughs> <laughs> we're like, and we gotta go. <laughs> 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 um, I, would, I would say love's in the air. We're, we're working on it. <laughs> okay, you guys, why would you do this? You know I'm gonna go down the rabbit hole now. Okay, so you are, are you friends? Are you dating? That's, yeah, so it's really weird because typically there are like the milestones of like, you know, you're dating, you get engaged, you get married, you have kids, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But our milestones are like completely different than that. So <laughs> meeting, getting married. Right. <laughs> so, so we're meeting, we're married. Are you in a intimate relationship? That's a small yeah, yeah. van. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! I'm like, that is a small van. <laughs> okay. Going somewhere. Okay, so you are a couple. You're sharing things personal yes. together, and you're sharing financial goals together. The school bus, the the property that you all want. So you're like a, a lot of married couples, honestly. You're traditional <laughs> married couples. I guess so. Yeah, when you put it that way. <laughs> what are, okay, last thing, because I've got. What is? Your, what do your parents think, Danielle? Uh. In the beginning, they were a little, a little hesitant, I'm not gonna lie. My dad came upstairs with a shotgun when he found out that Gunner was coming to the house. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> like my now, dad. <laughs> they're very much into it. Okay. My parents love him. They, they're so happy to have him around right now. <laughs> Gunner, your friends and family supportive? Friends, family? Yeah, very, very supportive. My mom was blown out of the water. She knows I'm a little crazy, but <laughs> I think she found out just how crazy I was. So okay. everything's great.